leader, um, great, great charisma, and exciting to talk to. Exciting. Uh, generous. Um, he is very funny. He has a very offbeat sense of humor, but you don't know that unless you know him well. Owen is also very honest. Um, words that I came up with were responsible, uh, capable, and ambitious. One is he is sincere and he is a truthful person, but he is also humorous and I would actually say witty. Owen is really quiet. Um, Owen is giving. If you were on a desert island with Owen and he had two sandwiches and you had none and you were hungry, he'd probably give you both of his. Um, and uh, Owen is loyal. Owen is very loyal. If, uh, if you have Owen on your side, I mean, you've got somebody who's going to be there for you forever. But conscientious, patient, and responsible. I'd have to say that he is um, very caring. He listens um, to um, your problems. He listens to um, what you might need. Um, another, another word that describes Owen is um, he's creative. He um, likes to always find new things, um, learn new different ways to do stuff. Um, the last word that it would describe Owen is he's humorous. We have a very select, very, um, very interesting kind of humor, I guess. But um, we always manage to um, find humor in the weirdest things. <laughs> When we, we worked outside in our garden and we planted a broccoli and bok choy and some peppers and when it was time to harvest uh, we picked the broccoli and ate the broccoli and it had a smoky flavor and uh, the whole time we were doing the planting Owen was really good at uh, getting the kids to follow the proper gardening techniques. He was really good with the plants and we got to the broccoli and it had that smoky flavor. I couldn't figure it out. The, class couldn't figure it out. We were sitting there trying to figure out well, where did the smoky flavor come from? And Owen was in the classroom doing something. He came outside and he tried the broccoli and in about two minutes said that it was from the charcoal that we had planted inside the soil and kind of mixed it with our soil. And of course at that point everybody realized, oh yeah, that's where the charcoal came from. Because that's one of the things about Owen. He's real insightful. He can pick up things that sometimes we would sit around trying to figure out what happened, but Owen was able to figure it out in just a few minutes. Owen uh, is that writing has always been a very difficult task for him because it, it's so overwhelming uh, to get to narrow down his thoughts. And so we worked real hard on his writing, and uh, we were writing quite often. And one day he had a topic he was supposed to write on, and he sat and he sat all class period and he only wrote maybe three sentences and he asked if he could take it home and finish so I said certainly you can do that and so he went back to Mr. Gant's class and um, before the end of the day he came back to me and his voice was quivering and he said Miss Wade I really don't think I can come up with anything else mm -hmm. I, I just don't think I'm going to be able to do this and it just, I, I felt so sorry for him because I knew he had given it all he had. And I said, Owen, um, I've known you for two years and you have never asked to get out of doing anything. And I said, as far as I'm, as far as I uh, consider this, you're finished. It's done. And the look of relief on his face was like, he said, thank you. Yeah, I remember the uh, first time Owen came to me for a geometry and he came over there and we were talking about acute lines and points and uh, uh, 360 degrees and Owen's eyes was like a deer in headlights. He's like, do I have to know this? I was like, no, we gotta learn it first to know it. So he's just like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, it's gonna be real easy. A lot of definitions, but Owen's eyes, he was just like, oh, I can't believe this. So I said, it just takes time and you'll get it. And before you know it, within the first Two or three weeks, Owen had it down. Pack, you knew the definition of all the words, and that's one of the things. So Danny is another teacher. He was over in the high school wing, and Owen used to go over there for geometry. And when he would come back in, Owen, you know, he would just walk back in, and he said, I don't want to interrupt class. 
So Mr. Daniel would tell him, no, don't worry about it. That's what I do. I interrupt classes. And so Owen, was, you know, Owen got excited about that. He could interrupt my class every time he came back in. So my door would swing open. And then Mr. Daniel would come in and say, introducing the one and only Owen Crow. And Owen would come in the room running like this with his hands up. And then he would just take a bow and then he would have a seat. But everybody would clap and stand up when he would come in. So that, that right there, I think that... That opened up. I had a lot of fun with that. And, and it... when we were camping, we went on a camping trip about three, two or three years ago. Um, we were both sharing a tent, and um, my dad decided to um, give us chair mats to sleep on as sleeping pads. It didn't go so well. It rained. The tent didn't hold up very good, and they were soaked. So Owen ended up. Um, sleeping in our truck and um, I had to find something else to sleep on and something else to keep me warm. <laughs> Developing games. Um, so he may do that. Well, I, but I could also see him doing something one-on-one -on -one where he helps people. He's always loved technology and computers and video games, so I, I think that he'd probably want to go into something that involves programming or um, repairing computers or game systems or maybe even developing games or systems. He would be like the head of uh, a company or if not that he'll be a big leader in something. I just don't know exactly like the gaming world or you know with his friends in a social club you know you just never know with Owen because he has he has a good gift about him. Everyone loves him and everyone flocks to him too. So he would be head of something. Could be IBM, could be Dell. I'm thinking that, that's what I'm going for. Some things that I can imagine him doing in the future. Um, Owen, it's, it's hard to put one thing on Owen right now because like I said, he's opened up so much. Um, but some things that I did write down, um, what comes to mind, if I had to choose, I would think, you know, if, if it was a job title, you know, somewhere in human resources or customer service, um, a job dealing with people one-on-one -on -one is where I see Owen most um, vibrant, um, most helpful, um, you know, as he gets older and before he finds that job, a scout leader volunteering in a, in a retirement home, just because of that caring, that patience that I've seen grow in him. Um, I, well, I think it will have to do with technology, uh, computers, anything. I, I can see him doing something in video, um, but he would be on the creative end of it. Yeah, uh, in the future, I think Owen would be the kind of person uh, with his love for computers and technology and this is kind of caring about mankind to put together something that would use computers to help people deal with some of the problems. I like see some kind of a program or something that could allow people to uh, get their feelings settled and be able to calm down using technology. I think uh, one of the things that came to my mind was own, owning and running a like, professional football team because it's so much not what he really enjoys. Ooh being Tennessee's head football coach. <laughs> the Titans or the Vols, if, uh, I think that would be a hard job. I cannot picture Owen doing anything in a big crowd or anything noisy. So, working on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange yelling, buy, buy, sell, sell. I'm very certain he would not be a garbage collector. I do, I do not see him on the waste management truck. <laughs> you know, if, if I did have anything to say, it's like I can see Owen not going to jail. I could never imagine Owen as a public speaker. Being an accountant. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I remember when I first met Owen, when he first came here, he was real quiet, real shy, wouldn't say anything. And as time time started going on, Owen started really opening up. He started blossoming like a flower. And now I see Owen, and it's something to see him look at you in the eye to eye, smile and talk to you. Because at one point when he first got here, he was a little shy. But a lot of kids are like that. But that's one thing I can say, that Owen has really matured and grown up a whole lot. And I'm very excited for Owen, really am.